What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going back to another curiosity photo. We're going way, way back to Sol 51. What I'm about to show you in these pictures is it's just like a bunch of mechanical parts. And I'm going to give you like kind of like a quick tutorial, the two tools you want to use when going through these photos, and they are going to help you 100%. So let's jump into this. Here's the photo we're going to look at right here. And you can see it at the very top here. Here's the address to it. And you can see it is from the MSL, which is the Curiosity Rover. And you can see right here it is 51. To the left of that is MCAM. So it is the mass cam that is taking this picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a good look at this photo. Okay. Now, let me add this real quick. Some people who do these photos will tell you not to use the burn tool, will tell you not to use anything else because you're going to ruin the photo. That's not true. And you're going to see why in a moment because I'm going to do a quick tutorial, like I said, and I'm going to show you this. All right, so here's the photo, like I said, and there's a couple really weird areas in here, and I can just do this. Um, in the back here, right here at the very top, you can see that. Right there in the middle of the circle, right there. There is things that are actually in the photo, but guess what, guys? It's the lines. Here's what I think is going on. They're doing a black and white, okay, photo. They're starting with a black and white, and then they're covering up these anomalies by making them look 2D, in other words, flat, and then they're putting a false color over these things. You'll see what I mean as we go along. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop here. Now, I took all of the crappy color off and made the photo a little bit bigger. You can see that's how big it was. It's a little bit bigger here. And we're going to get into this because this is cool. Now, I'm going to show you right off the bat. Like I said, you go here to the left-hand side, you can see Dodge Tool, Burn Tool. Click on the Burn Tool. Now, if you go up here, you see it says Shadows, Midtones, and Highlights. We want to use the Midtones. Why do we want to use the Midtones? Well, you see these brighter areas? That's only brought like that because we took off this reddish color. So you can see it doesn't look very bright here, although it is brighter areas than the rest of it. Why is that? And this is what I would ask to people not when they say not to use a burn tool or midtones or any of that sort. Do you think these are shiny rocks? No, they're not. What they are is purposely exposed. The exposure has been brought up to hide whatever's there. And a lot of these photos, like I said, I think they start off as like a black and white. They hide anything they need to hide in these photos to make it look flat instead of a 3D and stuff laying on the ground. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quickly, because I never do the work this fast, but I'm going to show you just to give you an idea. You can see again at the top, you can see we got it on midtones. Now, I got an exposure of 15%. 14-15% is usually the sweet spot, okay? Now, this one over here is nothing more than the size of this tool that you're going to use. So basically, it's a brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to just, you can, this will vary depending on the size of the photo. And of course, you can adjust it to like this here if you want to. See how big it is now? So you can get this thing pretty big if you want to. And we can bring it down to, like I got an 85 right now. Now, let me show you this real quick. And then I'm going to show you the fully enhanced. And then I've got a couple things circled that pop out pretty quick. All right. Notice all the lines we can see in here. All right. Just these weird, in other words, the lines are already there. We're going to bring this out much better. You can see like this piece doing this. Okay. Look at the fine lines that are in here. Okay. We can see these things doing this, so on and so forth. Just a bunch of lines, right? There's also a bunch of stuff here next to this piece here. Okay. Notice how, without doing anything other than taking the color of this, check this out. Look how this object seems to be going like this. Goes up, goes down, and into this square, or at least appears to be a square, but it is not. It's a rectangular piece, and you're going to see that pretty soon. Okay, let me show you this real quick. So now we're going to use the mid-tones, like I said, 15% exposure. And like I said, guys, I'm going to do this quickly just to give you an idea. I'm not drawing these lines in. I'm just going to show you what we're doing here and how these can be brought out. These lines are already here. Now, you notice how these weird colors are coming out, these greens, the blues, the yellows, the gold. This is all manipulation, and you're seeing the density of it, depending on how much they're trying to hide this stuff. Okay, so you can go like this here. Okay, keep going. Again, I'm not adding any of this. These lines are here. All we're doing is bringing them out. The highly exposed areas, you want to use the mid-tones because this is what's going to bring this out. If you try to use the burn tool, not going to work. What you use the burn tool for is to 
enhance these lines you've already brought up. Now, here's a good example right here. You say to yourself, oh, it's just a bunch of white rocks and stuff like that. Is it really? Pay attention to this area right here when we use that tool. Oh, it says. If there's a darker signature under this, whatever this is, it's going to come out. Kind of like the opposite when we're trying to bring out something that's white. So what we do is we use that to emphasize or bring out more of the white if it's under something that they color over it. So you can see here, like I said, I'm doing a really quick job of this, guys. This is not how I do my work. But I'm trying to give you an idea how we can bring out the lines to this. Now, what we want to do now is click on this and go to the shadows. Again, we want to emphasize the lines that are already here. Now, a lot of times you can see this stuff is actually starting to be brought out. You can go over and over it, you know, just to bring it out a little bit more if you want to. You don't want to go too crazy on this, guys, because it will, in fact, you can destroy the photo. Don't get me wrong. It's all in how you use this that makes all the difference, right? And I think a lot of people just don't have that combination. They just don't know exactly uh, how to bring it out. So, again, I'm not putting these lines in here. You can see they're here. All I'm doing is just dragging them out of the photo, out of this blurring, out of this crap, uh, and we're just bringing it out, okay? See the parts. These look like mechanical parts to me. Like, look at this part here. This is pretty cool. There's a little one right here. Off this piece right here doing this, kind of doing this and going like that. It has this weird shape to it. And you can see whatever this is right here, this little weird piece. I'm not sure what to make of that, right? But nonetheless, it's there. Now, again, use your burn tool. Like I said, you don't want to go too crazy over it, but you want to try to bring out these parts and these shapes and all of this other stuff that's hiding in the photo. So it just gives you a quick idea. You can bring this stuff out as long as you don't go too crazy with it. All you're trying to do is just to bring out the existing lines that are already in the photo, that they're doing their best to either blur out, fade out, whatever you want to call it, depending on what they're doing to the photo, right? Uh, you want to try to bring this stuff out. But when I look at this, I see what looks like mechanical parts and stuff like that. Again, look at the stuff that's up here. Now, you say, well, the colors really mess with my eyes. Just go to image, go to the adjustments, hit the drop down box, go to saturation, and just bring down your saturation a little bit. You still want a little bit of color because see what happens? Everything's just a gray. Well, you want to have a little bit of color in there so you can actually see the parts that you brought out, right? All right. Here's another area I started doing. Notice these right here. And we're going to go back to the normal photo. Okay. Right here, you can see what looks like some kind of weird piece here with these lines. Again, I'm not bringing these lines out. They're here. See this? Something going like this. Something that's almost straight going like this here. Something going like this. Okay. So can we bring that out? Well, let's use the uh, dodge tool and see what happens. Okay. Again, I'm just going over this. Not doing anything fancy. Let's see what happens. Okay. Look at the, look at the pieces coming out of here. This is not normal. Again, these different colors... I'm going to say it could be some of the colors could be the actual objects themselves. Or this is nothing more than manipulation density. And this is the reason why you're seeing all these colors. Here's some other interesting pieces you guys will like. Right here. What looks like either cables or some kind of weird things running down. All the way down here. You can see the lines to them doing this. Running side by side. There's something either round, almost like a D-shape type thing, doing this here, okay? Notice how this piece goes off like this. Again, these lines are here. I didn't put these here. It goes all the way down the bottom, and you can see something that does this, and then into the ground. This one here comes out, into the ground. But you can see these lines coming out. So let's bring these out, shall we? So again, we're just going to just go over this real quick. And again, I don't normally go over these things that fast, but I'm just trying to give you an idea so... You guys want to do this yourselves. My hopes is that you guys will start getting better and better at these things. And of course, a lot of you guys have already attacked this yourselves. And that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. See, I mean, look at, I mean, you can see these again. Now we'll use the burn tool. And so we can bring that a little bit better. Okay. Again, I'm not going super crazy on it. 
Again, we're at about 15%. Now, for some reason, if you happen to go over somewhere where the area happens to be darker, like you're in a darker area and you're trying to bring this out and you're using a dodge tool, all you want to do is just go like this. Just bring that percentage down to like half. That's what I typically do. Of course, it depends on how dark the photo is, right? But again, you can see these things now popping out. And you're going to see a lot more of this too. Uh, pretty cool, right? Again, I'm not doing anything to the photo. I'm not drawing these lines in. They're there. Um, here's an object here I think you guys will like too. This is cool. Right here. See that? There's actually a white piece here. As well as what looks like a cigar-shaped thing sitting right here. You can see it right here. Almost looks like it's got something right here. Like it's whiter here. I'm not sure if this goes into the back of this. But there's like a ring here. There's like something round right here. With like a dot in the middle. You get this other white piece doing this. Okay. Guys, behave yourselves. But you can see that there. And notice how you get something coming down from it. Right here. And you'll see that. All right. Let's do the full enhancement. Let's jump right into this. All right. Here's the object I was just telling you about. The two objects. Again, look at the pieces coming out. There's actually another one here. It's very faint, but you can see it coming down right through here. We've got these pieces right here. Okay. All in the back, on this hill, this thing's loaded with stuff right here. In fact, why don't we do this? Okay, bring it down a little bit, and just look at the parts and the... The 90 degree pieces and all kinds of crazy stuff coming down right here like this. Let me show you guys. Let's outline it and show you everything we got here. This piece was interesting on the left because it, it's just weird. Check this thing out. Whatever that thing is, it's in the photo. Okay. Here. I told you this piece looks like it's doing this. That's where my exhaust went from my Chevelle. No, I'm just messing with you guys. But uh, you can just see this stuff in here. You get these other pieces here. There's like one, two, three, some kind of weird pieces hanging off the side of this. Look at the shape of these things. That's clearly not natural. No, truthfully, I don't know what that is, but that doesn't look natural, guys. This here, in fact, I can bring this out of here a bit more for you guys. Again, I'm just bringing, I'm bringing out the lines. That's all we're doing here. I'm not sure what to make of that. What do you guys think of that? Whatever that thing is, I have no clue. Again, over here, we can do the same. Just bring out the lines. We've already brought them out. Just bring them out a little bit better. This thing here is a little bit harder to see because I've got it completely enhanced. Let's do this. See, just very subtly, you can see that right there. All in this area, I can still bring this out. Now, you're not going to see that in nature. It's just not going to happen. Almost looks like we got a hole in the ground right here, just above this piece we, we just saw to begin with. And this one here. Looks like a hole in the ground or something like that, or it's a shadow or something that could very well be, right? Now, what I do is I equalize. You can do this, too. Let me show you that because it, right off the bat, it'll dock in a lot of areas, but it'll bring out a lot of these lines themselves. Let me show you this. Here's the original without the nasty color on it. All you're going to do is go to Image, go to Adjustments, and go all the way down on Equalize. Sometimes this is the quickest way to see some of these lines. And what I did was I did a Equalize, too, to try to dull out the brighter areas. But check this out. You can see those lines I brought out earlier right here. See how we have these pieces here? Right here, you can see this. This is ghosted. Look at the lines that are here. Coming down. All right? This is what they're doing. They're hiding these objects. But you can see the lines in there. Okay? Sprawling out to different areas. Again, I think they start off with a black and white. They black and white the photo. After they do that, then they, you know, again, make everything look flat. Take out the detail. And then they put their own false coloring in. So when we do this enhancement, maybe we're seeing that false color. But I also believe it's from density of 
the manipulation, the centering. Because I've seen this before where, like on some moon photos. Now, keep in mind that a lot of these photos that you see from the moon are black and white, but they're not. If you go to the actual top here, like when you go to image right here, right? You go to mode, it's actually in RGB. So this photo is already in RGB. A lot of these photos from the moon are actually color, but you see it in black and white. So when you start to enhance or do a little burning or, or using the midtones, you start seeing weird colors popping out. Why? Because it's already colored, but it looks like it's black and white. But you'll see like a blue in one area and yellow in the other or green. You're going, what's going on? What gives? Based on what I've seen in a lot of these photos over the years, I think it's density of the, of the centering. So, yeah. Again, just the back of this hill alone, man. It's just, it's crazy because just the things that are in here alone... It just, it, there's no way that's natural. And again, these pieces here. Well, it looks like cables and piping. This piece down here. That, to me, there's no way that that's natural. And you can still see this on the photo right there. But by enhancing the photo, we can bring this out pretty darn good. These objects alone in the middle of the screen tell me that there was an intelligent civilization on Mars. Never mind anything else in this photo that's been hidden. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. But there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you that real quick. So it's like I'm showing you these objects in here and how you can go about bringing them out. Guys, what do you think these things are? I see mechanical parts like most of these photos we see. Keep in mind, this is early Curiosity. This is Sol 51. Of course, you guys will get the link in the pinned post that I always put in the comment section at the very top. You guys can get all the links there. So check it out. Guys, I see things lying all over the place. I see things that were 3D is now like flat and they took out the details. Again, I think they they have a really great picture when they when they get it from Mars and they black and white it. They make everything turn into like a 3D that's sticking up or whatever they want to hide the details and make it look like a 2D. So there's no detail in it, but you can see the lines and the outlines, the ghosted parts of this photo. And that's what we're trying to bring out. We're bringing out the lines. So again, mid-tones and burn tool is your best tools to use and of course you can play around with these as you're enhancing these so you can get a better idea because you may have uh, a monitor that's brighter or a little bit darker than mine so you may have to adjust accordingly tell me what you guys are seeing in these photos in my personal opinion mechanical parts things laying all over this ground and this is what the rover was looking at with its mass cam anyway guys please like and share always appreciate it you guys know that and please give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Thanks for watching. we got some cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. I'll also see you guys in this evening's Hangout. Until then, peace. Talk to you then.